Mm. Literally we, we, pickle juice on we myself. both have our own loaves of bread. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's a Tri Tuesday, and this week, this is pretty cool, we are actually inspired by a local nonprofit, Jen Dalton. Yes, yeah, so Happen Inc. in Northside is hosting a contest called Peanut Butter and What? What? They are asking kids to come up with out-of-the-box peanut what? butter sandwich combinations. The contest is this Saturday at their studio in Northside. And so we could not resist the challenge. We asked you to share some of your peanut butter and what suggestions, and we are going to test them out now. And let me tell you, you delivered, because this uh. is the most comments I think I've ever gotten on uh, uh. subjects. Okay, so Bob, will you, we're both yeah. gonna try this. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Linda says Lin peanut butter and mayonnaise. So oh, let's do this. And on. I have my own gluten-free bread here. That's what this is because I got to do the gluten-free. Bobby so, Gusta white bread. So peanut butter and mayonnaise. And I heard several people comment on this. That's Hellman's, I'm by the gonna, way. I'm going to because I don't want to do like a whole sandwich right, for right. each thing. I'm just going to do like a corner. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to okay. do a little, yeah. little mayonnaise and peanut butter corner. Welcome to mayonnaise and peanut butter corner. Yeah, it feels um, like we're on NPR all of a sudden. It does. Hi, we're going to have some. Except they, have don't, they don't really nice. do segments like this. All right, this. go for it. All right, good. And then I will join. Several people commented on this. How are you? This is Hellman's, but some people liked the, uh, what's it called? Not Hellman's. Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip. Which some, which which some would argue Be that clear, that not, not mayo. Yeah, Here we go. Some would say. Peanut butter and mayonnaise. Wait, did you, you've already done it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Not for me. <laughs> that was so fast. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's you not for me. You reacted so fast to that. That um, was unbelievable. Oh my god. I mean, in the beauty of this is no offense. Like, if, you, if okay. that's what you like, that's fine. <sighs> okay. Not my jam. I prefer jam with my peanut butter. What do you think? Nope. Nope, Bob, Don't that's a no that. from Bob. So let's see. Now next we're gonna add to the mayo and you have it's to- It's the tang. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the like tangy zip. I, I don't want the, I don't. Okay, you're gonna add on to that. I don't want that. So spread some more mayo on there, buddy. More? And peanut butter. Because I, next you're doing, or wait, bologna, cheese, and peanut butter. I can do the cheese. Together? But I yeah, yes. And, and one of our producers, Come Dave on. Sackman, this, Come is, on, this Mark. is from Mark. Mark. But our producer, Dave Sackman, said that he used to eat bologna, cheese, mayonnaise, and peanut butter as a kid. So I'm going to try just the cheese, mayonnaise, and peanut butter. Okay. Okay. I was just told, by the way, my foundation matches the bologna. So I could slap this bologna on my face and call it makeup. The cheese and the All peanut right. butter together. I'm not doing the whole, bologna, the whole bologna. I don't know if I know the point. Because now I don't really taste the peanut butter, I just kind of taste the cheese. But I can do that. Okay. All right. Man, I got a hair on this knife. I'm sorry. No, I don't know where it came. I don't think it's yours. Mine. No, it looks kind of like gray, so it's probably mine. Okay. <sighs> Did you do the bologna? No. Uh, I, need the, I need the peanut butter back. I, need, <laughs> I was just told, put some peanut butter on the hair. That'll, oh, no. That'll be great. We're not going to go there. No. All right. Okay, so I liked the peanut butter, mayo, and cheese. Okay. I've got the bologna. I've got and I the, bet uh, if you grilled that puppy, that would be even better. Got the Yesterday, Adam Clemix suggested that he likes if you have you ever grilled a peanut butter and jelly. No, I had somebody on Twitter literally this morning mention that though, and they said it's it's unbelievably okay. good. Okay, I got a little cheese up on y'all. Okay. So this is bologna cheese and peanut butter and peanut butter with a little mayo still left over. Right? Well, yeah, just a just a skosh, but I'll try to eat around that. Okay, here we go. Oh, you took a nice old big bite. You ate the whole thing. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I can't I tell. think I'm okay with that. You're okay with it? No. Like okay, or like you would. Maybe I mean, not I probably wouldn't it? actively choose it. Okay. But I might if it was offered. Now you got a bag of bacon right there. Okay, my husband made this specially for you last night. I do, I am. Um, he's very excited about this. So you. You know what I just did realize with that last bite, though? I sort of miss bologna in my life. Like I don't have a lot of bologna anymore. Well, my bologna has its first name. Is it O S C A R? Uh huh. All right. Um. Okay, this is something, believe it or not, you're not gonna believe this, that I grew up eating. Oh, fly. Peanut butter and bacon. <laughs> We're literally attracting flies. Did you eat this? Attracting we flies always are to the set. The flies. Right. Did you ever eat this? No, but oh, I do see. I do jelly bread. Okay. Um, Bonnie, when in doubt, I always say bacon, and thank you for that. Um, my dad would do what he called jelly bread, and he would just slap like four pieces of bacon pop, 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 on top of a. 
just a piece of wheat bread that's slathered in butter and jelly. So I feel like I'm, I've been halfway there. Okay, but I can't I'm believe you've never had this. And see, I liked it when it was so crispy it was falling apart with bacon on toast, too. So you're not getting the full experience, but... I mean, it's bacon. Right. So, it's good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm moving on. Okay. Because this one I'm excited to try because I love both of these ingredients. Now see, I'm really nervous about this one. Peanut butter and pickles. Who, su who suggested this one? Lots of people actually suggested this one. Uh, Antoine is dying behind the camera. Uh, Deborah says, we were raised on peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. Sweet or dill? I chose dill yesterday at the Kroger. No, I was just going to Elementary ask. schools served them to us. So they actually served these at schools. Okay. So here's, I'm going to eat this half so I'm not wasting bread here. Peanut butter and pickles. Here we go. No. <laughs> Not for me. Darn, I'm striking out. I thought I was going to love it. Because I love peanut butter. Did you, did pickle. you just grab pickles? Did you barehand it? I barehanded no, it. No, no, don't bother me any. Nope. Not for me. Maybe it's those things you just kind of have to, when you grow up with them, you get right. used to the taste. I'm still working on that bacon. Okay. That put me in a good place. I should have brought some kind of palate cleanser since this yeah, is I'm such sorry. a classic thing that we're doing. And this is probably lasting too long, but that's okay. That's okay. Oh, I got some chili for you next. What do you think of the pickles? <laughs> no? Better than the mayo. Okay. But don't love. I wonder if we combine them all. I might try that in a second. Are you crazy? Um, yeah. Okay. But apparently at this point. I what am. else are we doing? Okay, now you're doing peanut butter and chili because this is the classic that That's everybody what says. Everybody says. Mm -hmm. Do I have to put it on bread? Well, you do it like a peanut butter sandwich, and you dip it in the chili. Apparently, would you like to make me? I thought maybe I would one? just take like a spoonful of chili with a spoonful of peanut butter. Well, you can do that too. Why not? <laughs> it's totally. Except it was a, I don't have a spoon for you. It's a dunk, and you're, nobody totally else is eating the chili oh, anyway, yes, right? Do. Yes, I do. I had oh. this. No. Oh. So there you go. Oh, here you go. Let me, let me peanut butter my let me let me peanut butter my bread. Okay. So what do we got? Bacon, yes. Bacon, Bologna, yes. Bologna, cheese, yes. You said yes. Uh, mayo. So far, I'm eh. hands down on mayo. The cheese and peanut butter together. And pickle, kind of, eh. Right. Didn't, it wasn't terrible. Okay, right. here we go. I've always wondered about this. So many people make a peanut butter. Do they make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? And dip them in the chili or just peanut butter? Now, see, I get this because this seems like yeah. almost like a, a lot of, Maybe uh, like a pad thai, almost if you had noodles. Oh, yeah. You sure, know? sure. Um, what do you think? So far with the meats, it's worked every time. Do you know what I'm saying? Bologna, yep. Bacon, yep. So peanut Chili, butter and meat. Yep. Yes. Okay. Generally speaking. I can't hear Tanner, so if we're going to well, one, I know please tell him to let us. I know banana and honey, I almost feel like... And yeah, I mean, automatic, yes. Yes. Automatic is... Who, who was it that suggested banana and honey, Tanner? I mean, a lot of people. We had so many suggestions on yeah. this thing. It, it, Kathy, just one of the people who suggested um, peanut butter, banana, honey. I literally eat those, especially yeah. um, when I was marathon training back in the day. That was a great. I need to. I need to just get get some energy food in me. So you you cry, oh you added the fluff. I added the. But a lot of people suggested the marshmallow fluff. So I've got the marshmallow fluff, well, bananas, and peanut butter. I bet this is going to be delicious. Okay. This is going to be for get the in way, there. Right? Get in there. Now. All right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And I bet if you toasted that sucker. Oh. Mm. Now, let me ask you this. When? At some point, are people just messing with us? Yep. Because who who is eating? Who is? Mm. Ooh, that kicked back. Did you get that? Ooh, I don't know if you caught that at all, but something just came from oh. way down in me. we got to um, try this. The onions? Onions. Literally, we've drawn flies into the studio. We have. Um, That's amazing. People. No, I do not think people are do messing with us. Do you think people us. are still watching, or do you think nope, if they you're still off, if you're so still just... watching right now, I'm gonna need a Facebook message, a tweet of some kind, or uh, or an email? Okay, you try peanut butter and tomatoes, and I'll try peanut butter and sweet onions. Sweet, because, and, sweet and onion. People are not messing with us because several people mentioned. These. Who said the tomatoes? Or I guess the yeah. Okay. Wait oh, a minute. Okay. Connie said tomatoes. Who said onions? Okay, I can get with the onion and the peanut butter. Okay, I'm just, I'm literally just going peanut butter straight on the, on the tomato. And this just, is just, the longest local people have eaten on morning television. Just, just right on there. Just right on I'm there. I'm going to do it too. Sh Sherry and then we'll said wrap onions. This up. Okay, all right. 
I like, I, I will eat a tomato as a hand fruit. Sherry says, when I was a kid. Yeah. Would you, did you ever eat a tomato as a hand fruit, uh -huh. like an apple? I'll mm -hmm. do it. Only straight out of the garden, though. I like it. You don't like it? I do. Nope. Oh, I'm going to do that. Peanut butter, onion, and tomato. I'm going to hook that up together with some pickles. Then it'll be done. Okay. I well, am pro was... peanut butter with the meats. I am less so with the vegetables. But I also don't like vegetables as much, generally speaking. Okay. So that well, seems to fall in the way we expect it. So, so, well, thank you. Can for I eat all the rest the of that bag of bacon? You can, because again, my husband specifically made this for you. He said it was preservative free, and I said you wouldn't like it because you like your preservatives. <laughs> no, because again, once I'm dead, my corpse <laughs> is going to look good for weeks. Okay. You can come visit me a month after I'm dead. You're like, is that guy still alive? Maybe. Sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest, you want to see more. So click some of those links, or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.